Hey everyone, welcome back to my another series in the Fast API tutorial by Subject Playlist. In this part, I want to talk about uh, Fast API template, or in other words, I want to create template for my Fast API application with Jinja. Before starting this part, don't forget to subscribe my channel and feel free to leave comment about my content. Uh, before I start, uh, let me say this. I am working on fast API e-commerce tutorial and uh, please uh, leave comment about what you would learn in this tutorial. Thank you. Let's get started. What you will learn in this part? You will learn what is Jinja and why we need to use Jinja in the fast API. Also, you will learn uh, how to use Jinja in the fast API. If you can use Jinja in your fast API application, this video is not for you. First of all, let's talk about what is Jinja and why we need to use template in the fast API. What is Jinja? Jinja is a Python uh, library that helps us to create template for our website or in fast API or Flask and etc. But why we need to use template in the fast API? Uh, in the modern application, front end and back end is separated, uh, and uh, front end and back end interact with each other with REST API. But REST API has some restriction. For example, um, in the REST API, we can't develop socket. For example, real time application. Uh, REST API is not real-time application and also REST API is not a stateful. Uh, for this reason, sometimes we need to use uh, front-end and back-end in only one platform. This is the place Jinja help us. Now let's talk about how to use Jinja in the fast API. For this purpose, uh, I would remember that you can find file of this part from my GitHub repository that I wrote it, uh, the URL in the description below, uh, tutorial 02. After cloning fast API tutorial by subject repository, now let me say this. This is small part of my uh, fast API e-commerce tutorial and uh, First of all, I want to review some part of my code. Uh, in this a small part, we will create uh, two different templates. One for getting product list and one to create product, a new product for our store. Let's get started. Now let's review some part of my code. We use Alembic as my migration tools in this part and also we use uh, we create database file and as you know we set our database in the database file uh, in this part uh, SQLite database used and in the de dependency we have only one dependency for getting database now let's talk about our product model product model has some fields such as ID of product name of our product a slide for so friendly url and url of our image of uh, product description of our product and price of our product it is available or unavailable uh, it is a boolean field and also we have created date and updated date in our product model now let's create our code file in the code file i should add one function for listing our product first of all i get model from my model file it is better to use schemas because schemas help us to uh, validate our data but uh, for simplicity in this part i use model directly then we should add product list function I remember that it is better to use schemas but for simplicity we use um, model uh, directly after all we go to main.py file 
First of all, we need to install Python multipart uh, for hosting, uh, creating product for, and also we need to install Jinja template. We've installed it and you can find it in the requirement file, but for better realization, we can do it with pip install python multipart and also install jinja2 okay that's it now i add our template directory I use template directory as you can see this file this folder but you can change it whatever you want first of all I would add product list template for this purpose I have to add request because we want to return HTML page and if you want to use template you must add a request and then we use database as a session because we want to get our uh, product from the database and then we use product list from crude file to get all of my products and then we return our template our template from the template directory in list.html file as you can see in my template and then we should add object that we want to use in the list.html file or in my template first we add requests because we want to use template and then we add our product that we want to use in my uh, list.html file uh, i would uh, say that it is important to add json the json bell encoder and if you don't use it you get the wrong format and you can show it in your product list template for my second api i use getting creating product for as you can see we use request again because we want to return HTML template and then we also need to uh, use request as my context as I used it in the product list and everyone, uh, everyone every time we want to use template. For the last API I add posting create product for in the previous API we get a uh, product form and now we want to post that product form at the same URL and we add requests as we need in every uh, template based API and also we add every name description URL price and etc that we need to create our product it is field that I created in model after all the type of this uh, name description URL and etc is form and we install Python multipart for this purpose and we need to import form from fast api after all first we create product with name description url and price and then add it to our database commit it and refresh our database after all we return our form template form template in getting and posting is equal is the same and we also return request again and 
we return result it is not required because we don't need to show anything in the uh, form template after posting uh, my content now let's take a look at my template first let's take a look at my form template for creating a post creating product and post it we have a form in my uh, form template that has uh, one two three four uh, field that I've created in the main.py file as you can see name description URL and price in this template we have also name price description and URL okay it is form when we get this uh, when we request get from form.html we get this form and when we push submit we add new product to my database after that we have list.html for showing our uh, product list as you can see we have product length at the top of my template and also we have tab one from sub product list directory include it go to sub product as you can see we use for loop for showing our product show product name and then product description and product description also show and we also have product dot price and we have also an image of my product you can see product that you are at my image okay that's it let's try our uh, product html first we upgrade my lmb to the last revision now we don't have any database sqlite database after upgrading lmb to the last revision it will be create let's take let's try alembic upgrade head now as you can see we have a SQLite database then we will load our application and check my application first to my product form product slash form as you can see we have name price description url after filling the form push the submit button now check my product list at product sub url as you can see we create new product in my product list okay that's fine in this part we create three type of template one for getting form of creating uh, product one for posting product and another for getting list of product thank you for watching my videos if you like my videos don't forget to push the like button uh, subscribe my channel share my content with your friends and leave comment about my content even a small comment can encourage me to create more videos